So the weather has finally turned around a little bit around here. You'll find that in my videos, weather is a common uh, subject and we've had a pretty nasty March. It's been really snowy, windy, cold and things like that. And so when I saw the forecast for today, the temperature was supposed to be 40, 45 degrees. And so I was excited because I was gonna be able to fly my Mavic because I've been just itching to get it up in the air. But when I woke up, I heard the house shaking and of course we have a 30 mile an hour wind right now. So I can't fly my Mavic outside. I might try a little bit later when the wind is supposed to go down, but what I wanted to try today was a tripod mode. And I think I'm still gonna try it, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have the afternoon off today. And so I'm gonna take my Mavic to work. I'm gonna fly it around at work and get some footage. Hopefully I don't hurt anybody. It's kind of a confined space, but I'm hoping with the tripod mode that I'll be able to do it. And so I just wanna make sure I get everyone's permission, make sure it's okay that I fly it. And hopefully we can get some good footage using the tripod mode of the DJI Mavic Pro. Oh yeah, just a quick tip also you guys, when you charge your batteries, you know, it takes quite a while to charge your batteries at home. I got the uh, Fly More kit, Fly More combo kit, which comes with the four hub battery charger. You plug it in your wall, it can far charge four batteries, but it only charges one at a time and it takes a long time. You have to be pretty patient. I'm hoping that DJI comes out with a fast charger. I'm guessing that they will because if they want to make more money, that's the way to do things. So I would anticipate that would come soon. But anyway, one way to charge your battery faster that I found is using the car charger. If you did get the Fly More combo or if you bought the car charger, it's a lot faster. I think because that um, that charger that you use in your house runs about three and a half or four amps and the one that you plug into your vehicle runs at six amps. So it's not quite twice as fast. It's probably about 30% faster. But if you can see, I got mine plugged in. And to me, it looks like it's blinking faster, but maybe not, maybe I'm imagining things, but Yep, you just plug it in your cigarette lighter, charge it right there. And I plugged this in about 25 minutes ago and it was only at 20% and it looks like it's almost full. So I think, you know, for a quick charge, plug it in your car charger, go for a little drive, maybe go get some ice cream or something like that. By the time you get home, your battery's charged. Just a quick tip I wanted to throw out there. Let's go try this uh, tripod mode. What I think I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna go into the CrossFit class and ask those guys if it's okay if I get some footage. Um, just fly it around a little bit and, and see how the tripod mode works inside. Like I said, it's kind of crowded in there. It's a little bit of a confined space, but I think we'll be okay. Now, right now they're doing a workout and so it's kind of loud. They got the music cranked up. There's some weights banging around and so you won't be able to hear me. So I'm not actually gonna speak while I'm doing uh, the video. What I'll do is I'll just voice over afterwards. So let's go on in and see uh, if we can get some footage with the tripod mode. All right, so I just got done flying the Mavic indoors at our CrossFit class using the tripod mode, and it worked pretty well. The only trouble I had is when I first launched it, it said on my controller that there's too much electromagnetic interference, so I couldn't calibrate the compass. And so what happened is when I lift it off, it actually kind of started to go off to the side. It almost ran into some of the weights, and so that was a little bit scary, but I just dropped it back down. And then the next time I moved it to the middle of the room, I lifted it up and then I put it right in tripod mode and it held its uh, spot right there without moving at all. And I was able to get a little bit of footage. I didn't want to keep it up too long because some of the people in there were a little bit nervous. For the most part, I tried to stay away from people and things as much as I could. And then I got a little bit of footage later when there was nobody in there. It was kind of fun to play with it indoors and see how the tripod mode works. Basically the tripod mode, if you don't know, it just slows everything down. It slows down your acceleration, it slows down your rotation, slows down everything. So even if you push on the joystick at full throttle or if you turn it at full throttle, it's not gonna go full throttle. It's only gonna go very slowly. It's gonna turn slowly, it's gonna rise and go up, down slowly. You know, it's, it's a benefit, especially if you're a beginner because you know, the Mavic Pro does come with beginner mode. I didn't really get much out of that. I actually got more out of the tripod mode. I'm back home now and what I wanted to do is get a little bit of outdoor footage using the tripod mode. It's still pretty windy so I'm just gonna take it up in the air and just show you guys kind of how it moves around a little bit uh, while it's in the tripod mode. So as you guys can see it's having a little bit of trouble with the wind. Uh, it is about 25 mile per lot 25 mile per hour wind right now. And uh, so I'm not gonna be able to 
fly. I'm not gonna be able to fly it today. <laughs> I thought we had a little less wind here on the south side of the house, but obviously we don't. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna get uh, to show you guys any outdoor footage today, but I hope that uh, you can see how easy the tripod mode works indoors or outdoors. I'll probably try this again tomorrow when the wind is supposed to go down. I think the tripod mode is something I'm going to use on a regular basis because, you know, not only is it good for beginners to learn how to fly a drone, learn how to fly the Mavic, but I think it's good for getting some pretty good cinematic footage. You know, most people when they try to get some video with their drone, they want it to be, you know, they want it to look really nice. They want to see, you know, nice smooth movements and, you know, give that feeling of just really cinematic experience and so with the tripod mode I think you're able to do that a little more easily than when you're not and and I think it's a way for people to practice uh, getting those movements without having to worry about uh, running into something or or wrecking their drone or hurting somebody so that's the tripod mode so if you guys got any questions or comments about it or anything that I did please leave those in the comments below if you guys have any suggestions for video a lot of you guys that are watching this watching me are also beginners and so you know I want to help you guys by answering the questions that you might have before you buy your Mavic. If you guys want to give me a little bit of direction on what you'd like to see I certainly will uh, do the best that I can and uh, kind of show you guys how someone like myself who's just getting started uh, like this video if you got anything out of it those thumbs up really help me out a lot also if you're looking to buy a Mavic or anything from DJI I got a couple links below in the description if you want to go ahead and click on those links because that helps me out I do recommend it if you're going to get a Mavic Pro or anything, go to the DJI website because you'll get it really quick. You know, I got mine, like I said, in four days. You know, most people, they say it takes about seven days, which is still pretty good. It comes directly from the company, and so that's pretty cool. So check out those links as well. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. I love to build this community. You know, this community is growing a lot faster than I thought it would, which is really cool. You know, when I checked the other day, I think I was at 47 followers and I'm like, oh, awesome. I can't wait to get to 50. And the next morning I got up, checked it and I was like 67 uh, subscribers. So that's really cool. That means that you guys are really into the Mavic Pro. You're really into some of the things I'm doing. I've only been doing this for a month. So totally brand new to me, but I'm loving every minute of it. If I could fly this thing every day, I would, but I can't because of where I live. But I think pretty soon the weather's going to turn around and we're going to be able to have a lot more fun. I'm going to be able to provide a lot more uh, interesting videos for you guys. So if you guys hang out with me, you know, stick with it until the weather warms up. In the meantime, I'm going to try to put out some content that's going to help you guys figure out everything that you need to know about the Mavic. As always, thanks for watching. Fly safe, fly smart.